I did was just respond to his, to his move, and now I get to move myself. Correct. And I, I can, I am basically, I, I have not had time to look up the bestial move. Okay. But, uh, I will look it up right now. Right? But so keep going. But, but uh, so, but, but it seems like I don't have. I've been defeated. So what yes. I'm frightening things make you run. He meets aggressive yeah. threats with violence and anger. And so um, you also will have yeah. minus two to your defenses and minus two to resist frenzy. Um, and uh, you are vulnerable to being, uh, you are vulnerable to certain influences. All sorts of terrible things are wrong with you. Um, and so the way to the way to resolve it is to do a lot of damage to somebody. Um, so uh, and that could be that could that be him? Yes, it could. The other monster? Yes, it could because frankly, you don't have any choice. You have to attack. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. I will attack them. Mm -hmm. And, and then we this will is also. My, uh, this is not like the, what I'm best at. I don't even know if I have any. Anything that will help me in that well, way. Well, you will need strength and brawling. Uh, I have strength. Not that much, though. Okay. So, uh, and can I use willpower now? Yes, you can. Even if I don't have, like, uh, I don't have brawl. That's okay. You are trying to brawl. And, and it says minus one unskilled. Does that mean that? That's correct. Minus, minus one dice. Correct. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, but I, I will. I will sacrifice one willpower to get uh, at least four dice. Right. Uh, Keep yeah. going. So yeah, and then I will roll. Uh huh. Um. Well, also, you will subtract his defenses for the number of dice you get to roll. Okay, so, so his defenses are his defenses are a little too high for you. You are going to uh, you are going to I, flail at them in a frenzy of screaming and biting, but it is simply going to slip past you. No, but I I I I, I so I don't get to roll. Is that I think it? you have zero dice, Odin. If you have zero dice, do you still get to roll one? I recall there was something called a chance die. That's right. You just get. You are correct. It is just a chance die. Roll one die. If you get a, if you get but, a ten. But, but now, now I'm being a bit difficult. If I, I wouldn't. If I knew that, I wouldn't have like put my willpower into this. There was like totally wasted. Oh, my you got all your willpower back because you committed a heinous crime. Be happy. So. Um, you uh, yeah, you okay. have, and of course there is no way to know that it had all this crazy celerity. Okay, yeah, that's what I, nailed I all the uh, dice. There was no ten tens in that okay. Ball, so okay, so no ten and no and no one. No, one. No, okay. no one. Perfect. So you have you are now. I know that everybody is getting tired of all this system, but you are in a situation where frenzy is imminent, and you have all kinds of problems with tempted and bestial so take your composure and take your resolve all of us yes composure and resolve how many dice is that Five. good excellent subtract four and roll one die and this is not just a chance die. This actually can be, uh, but go. You go right ahead and roll. Yeah, that's a, that's actually a success. Oh, it is. Time. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, you actually resist frenzy. That's amazing. So. Yeah, I was uh, actually looking forward to it, but uh, right. yeah. Okay. Right. So I, I resist the frenzy now. So everything went bad except the frenzy part. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. All right. So then, uh, well, that's. You know, that's now moving to Hans, who has seen this uh, this start beginning to happen. 
Um, and at this time, you probably realize that the thing is inhabiting some pieces of the body of the dead subject. Mm-hmm. Um, probably because of the nasty footprints that lead directly from the room with pieces, little scraps and things left behind. Combat is not an option. I mean, I've just seen someone getting destroyed, so probably not a good option. Um, so I know it comes from the body. Do I have anything around me that could help to destroy the body? Um, the the body that's in the room? Yeah. That's an interesting idea. Um, I think that there's plenty of things you could use, but... Not fire. <laughs> I'm sorry? Not fire, please. <laughs> no, no fire. Um, <laughs> there you could... You, there are plenty of things you could use. All you, It's really... The pieces in the in the bed are really kind of crap. They are not very durable mm -hmm. you you could try to destroy them with anything i guess but uh but yes you could you could try to do that yeah if i know it comes from the body i would try to destroy the body and see what happens um well, how can i do that well, if you are just talking about that, I mean, it's pretty easy just to grab any of the medical instruments and just strike the... the yeah, the but remains. I mean, it doesn't look like a very good idea if the body is like if basically lifeless and no, lifeless. Yeah. It doesn't like, it doesn't sound like a solution to attack the, the shape that is left. I was more thinking about, I don't know, I don't want to give him blood. It's a terrible idea. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, yeah, that's a terrible idea. <laughs> but let me think. Yeah, let's try the brute force first. I'm going to try to destroy the body on the bed. On the bed. Okay. Um, well, in that case, it's it's just uh, just going to be a strength and uh, strength and resolve. You don't even really have to. It's not brawling. You're not fighting anything. So strength and resolve. Strength oh. and resolve. That's four dice. Uh, resol yeah, resistance. Uh, you are kind of. I'm kind of deciding whether this is a breaking point or not. It's already dead. Okay, I could try to dominate the body. Okay. Um, I can tell you right now that you cannot. Uh, the the the. Okay, Nathan, I I really want to be clear on this. I'm mm -hmm. going to stop you if you are doing something that makes no sense at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, okay. I know. Yeah, sure. Um, if you are talking about the few pieces of dried out flesh. That are yeah. lying on that bed. There is nothing to dominate there. There is nothing. Yeah. Okay. That's, There's nothing. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. Um, so if you, yeah. On the other hand, I'm going to try to destroy it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. So three dice. Four dice. Ah, uh, one one success. One success. Okay. Well, it's not very durable, like I said. It's mostly just mm -hmm. almost dried out to the point of ash. So you are going to make a terrible mess on that bed. Um, and there's so there is kind of smears and of flesh and things or mm -hmm. pieces on you. Um, but it's not bloody. It's all, remember, it's all completely, the water yeah. is all gone. The fluid is all gone. So you are just smeared now and it is all torn up. Something else will happen right now, which is that the, uh, oh, wait, no, they will move on eight. Never mind. Okay. So now it is Nora's, sorry, it is, uh, Ansa's turn. And at the moment you are 
uh, you are the least aware of the situation of all of them. And uh, yeah, Austin, yeah. Austin is just beginning to struggle to move up, and you can see that his fangs have actually become visible. Uh, because the one thing he is completely aware of is how hungry he is. Yeah, um, I'm thinking, like, do we have some kind of, like, human blood bags there available so that I could, like, just throw it, like, okay, please, like, have a drink. Made. You you could do that with preserved blood. The other option is actually to give him some of yours and create a blood bond so that he becomes dependent on you. No, I think, um, I don't know. Like, I'm thinking, like, how, how is it, how is it working? Because I'm, I'm sure the character knows. Yeah, the I character don't... knows all about these things. Yeah. yeah, so I'm thinking, like, what does it mean, like, okay. being Okay, well, dependent? strangely enough, here is the blood bond. They will be in the first stage of a blood bond, and that means that you get a bonus against them for any social action or discipline role. And um, and if they try to harm you or attack you, then it will be um, a breaking point for them. They so it's it, to them they they care a lot about you. So okay. um, and so what you do is you give them a, a, a drink, and if you want to make a second stage of blood bond, you will give them two drinks. And okay, the second stage the is the second stage is all kinds of uh, uh, of of so I mean you you basically have all kinds of social bonuses against them. You can tell them what to do, and it will be hard for them to stop you. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Does it mean that I'm like giving up to of my own by day? In that um, case. Yes. In other words, you are going to have the equivalent of sex for vampires, which is that you are going yes. to basically yes. intimately, uh, and how you do it, like because you are all medical and weird, you could do it with medical equipment, or you could actually, you know, uh, you know, bite them and then have them bite you back and things like that. So. Here you go. Your 14-year-old self is getting everything she wants. Yes. Yeah. Okay, good. I think it's, no. I think it, I think it's blood bond when they drink. Right. Really. No, the blood bond is when she gives, when, when they get blood from her. Yes, correct. Yes. Yeah. When, they, when they drink yes. from and, her. And so there's, so it's a question of how much, I'm going to treat it as one vitae, one drink, two vitae, two drinks, three vitae, Three drinks. So. No, I can I can go with the uh, two because it sounds good. Like if I can basically right. like command this. Excellent. Person so in a way. So yeah, I'm taking two away. From mine, no, not that way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that way. <laughs> oh, no. And yeah, so that it looks smart. Excellent. I was adding myself like uh, more by like, yeah, no, no. no. Strangely, but, yeah. that will not happen. So, no. um, so anyway, so I am going to uh, uh, have this very uh, strange scene, you know, of this guy coming off of this this medical lab table, you know, and you know, is is blindly seeking for blood, right? You know, is you know, and and you basically just move st yeah, straight into his grab and all of a sudden he, and he looked like he was a predator you know coming up like a predator now he is like this helpless adoring lover his eyes are looking up at you like with bliss right so uh so that is happening you are blood bonding with austin which is gross and squicky and that is fantastic so, yeah, the traditional way. So, yeah, like the hand oh, or like okay. whatever, Nick. I don't, I don't know, like wherever he wanted to buy it, but like here's the hand. Nick. I will let everybody in the group. I will let everybody in the group imagine their own. Bunch of perverts here. So, um, now we are going to. No, no I'm looking this like this. Your, your vampire is totally. You're gross from the beginning, so it's like like 
this unsexy high five. <laughs> yeah. Like Borat making him a vampire. Exactly. So that is happening in there. And then we have, uh, and Nora, you can see this happening, of course. And uh, then we was, we were we. You are in that same room. It's just that you can sense everything that is happening outside sure. of it. And I have some things to tell you that the, the haunting presence of Solve in your, in your mind, plus your incredibly increased senses. She's is almost like, mm -hmm. look, it's just like she's very uncomfortable in her clothes. Like, right. Right, I get that. Extra sensitive to like exactly, yeah. Everything is too much, but one of the most terrifying things is that now your understanding of this thing is much more specific. You have learned so many things about it, and the presence of Solve in your mind and the actual sensory impressions that you are getting from it. You can't see it, but you don't need to see it. Your senses are so strong; otherwise, you don't even need to see it. And uh, the, the fact is that this, this thing tried to possess Solve. It was somehow called up by his preparations for the experiment that he was doing on himself. And this, this thing has come to hunt him. Um, it was terribly burnt. I mean, it he he released the sunlight that he had stored in his body with terrifying covenant secrets that you have never dreamed of, that you could actually store sunlight in your body. And he, uh, this is the kind of thing that, you know, Ordo Dracu people study. And so uh, he released it to fight the thing. And it was, and, and it, Releasing it burned his own body so that he went into torpor, but it also drove it away. Um, but now it is back, and it wants to possess him. It wants Solve. It wants to be Solve. It is going to become... Uh, this, this is perhaps... Uh, this is perhaps one of the, the most terrifying things you could imagine. It is a... A, a, an older, more basic version of vampire, some kind of terrifying thing that you as a vampire would fear. And it is uh, basically trying to hijack Solve. It is going to take his body and even become him, perhaps even take on all of his traits, all of his powers. So that is, it is bestial, it is starving, it is injured, it is completely, uh, it is, it is completely uninterested in negotiation at this time. It is driving, it has possessed this corpse, it is driving this corpse forward, you know it has no body of its own. You know it has no body of its own. It is physically incapable of affecting things except through possession. So those are the things you know now that everything is coming together. These things have no name. And by the way, Odin, mm -hmm. they don't look like stupid owls. I don't know what the authors were thinking. I have no idea why they, they made them into owls. The owls are not scary. Yeah, well, it's not to suspect if, you, if it was a Strix or not. I'm using the Strix rules, and I am, I am oh. bending them and making a thing I liked. So we are not really using the Strix from the rules from the book, but I am using the Strix rules for a terrifying bad thing. So it doesn't really have a, f a physical form. Correct. The, 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 the shadowy, fishy form 
that you see is what you can see of it um is is what it would look like without a body but it would not always be visible in fact you you have had to use aspects to bring it into visibility and it once it was discovered it dropped its obfuscation and that's why um because it costs willpower and by tape to it so that's why um hans could see it now because it dropped its it's just it's going it's law it's on attack now it possessed that body it is staggering toward solve who is over in the um what the map calls the birthing room that's where solve is right now 